Ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. Today's date is January 19th, 2024. This is a Forex uh, kickstart video where I take a look at three of the major currency pairs, Euro versus US dollar, dollar versus yen, and sterling versus US dollar. So let's get started. Looking at the uh, Euro, Euro versus US dollar, we're, you know, it's Friday, so we're uh, heading into the weekend. And uh, this week we did uh, see the uh, price extend uh, to the downside here. Uh, but then uh, found a support against the 200-day moving average, not only on Wednesday, but also yesterday. Wednesday, we went about four pips below that 200-day uh, uh, moving average and bounced uh, higher. Uh, on uh, yesterday's uh, trade, we came right down to it and bounced higher. Uh, the uh, bounce uh, to the upside has been able to run into the downward sloping 100-hour moving average and trading here today, although the price action is up and down, up and down, not really going anywhere, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, here, uh, but uh, that uh, 100 hour moving average is so far uh, finding some resistance of sellers against it. Uh, earlier this week, we did uh, fall below that uh, moving average right through here, went up and tested it one last time here before sidewaysing and moving to the downside. So it has some relevance, and the market seems to be paying attention. You see this yellow area right here. This yellow area, if I go to the four hour chart, corresponds with uh, swing swing level going all the way back to November here. We had a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs that form that swing area all through here and here and here. You get the point, uh, the, uh, and uh, before the market moved down lower here and then reestablished support here. And this is where we had a floor really develop in this area right here until this week when the price started to trade above and below it. Uh, so uh, getting above the uh, high of that uh, swing area at 1.0894 and also above the 100 hour, hour moving average near that level as well will be required to increase the bullish bias uh, in, in this uh, uh, trading pair uh, for today going into the weekend. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the um, dollar versus uh, yen next. And if we uh, look at the four hour chart as well, this is the week's price action and uh, the move to the upside in trading here this week uh, was pretty intense uh, at the beginning beginning of the week into midweek, but we did uh, find a resistance uh, against the uh, swing area here. The swing area is fairly well designed, defined, going back to uh, these levels through here, where we had uh, different uh, swing lows and swing highs forming this uh, level. Uh, we went above, above and below it again here, here, before moving to the downside right through here after retesting that level. And it, this week when we came up to that level and uh, then it bounced up, moved up back to the downside. But did find a support against, I'll get all these uh, arrows away, did uh, find support against uh, ahead of the uh, broken 100-day moving average and 61.8% retrace from both of those levels. Came in around the 147, 45, 47-ish type area. And you can see that the corrective move uh, did find early buyers against that level of force to the upside. We did get above that swing, swing level in training here today, uh, and uh, we moved up uh, to uh, test, well, uh, I guess this low right here, and... Uh, May have been uh, you know, maybe this high right here uh, near the 148.80 level, but uh, when the market uh, started to move back below this uh, swing area right here, we started to see more selling come in play. Looking at the U.S. yield curve today, yields are marginally higher. Uh, they are sort of in the middle of the trading range right now, uh, so uh, maybe that's helping. But uh, it may, may may also be some profit taking after a couple couple weeks, uh, one two three weeks of gains here in the uh, dollar versus yen. Uh, what we do know is that there's a decent support down here at the 61.8 and the 100-day moving average. Again, those levels are near 147.45. Finally, let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar. And uh, uh, the sellers had their shot this week. Uh, the, that shot was the break below this swing area through here where we had a number of different uh, swing lows and swing highs. Uh, it actually was, you know, it's pretty pretty strong strong level. There's uh, you know only a few little uh, breaks outside of it, and special and you can see that this floor right through here was pretty stout. And we uh, came down and we went through that level. Uh, should have led to uh, further downside momentum. It didn't. Uh, instead, the market rotated back to the upside, and it was a uh, uh, fast break the other way uh, as the uh, sellers turned to buyers after the failed break that was on Wednesday. And trading yesterday, we saw the price move above and below the 100. Our moving average again before closing above that level and trading here today. We came up to the 200 hour moving average. It's a green line and chart at 1.2708 and found willing sellers against that level. So at least uh, uh, we're trying to keep a lid on the pair, but um, uh, 
uh, you know, each of the, you know, the time, time it gets above the 100 and moves up to the 200 and comes back down. We'll see if we can get above the two, 200 at some point down the road. But uh, what, uh, what I guess we can say in this uh, currency pair is we're back into this box right here, which uh, defined the uh, range, range for the pair with lots of ups and downs and ups and downs and ups and downs over the last, well, going back to mid-December. So about a month of uh, trading uh, after the sellers had their shot uh, this week. So we're in the middle of that range. Uh, stay below the 100 hour moving average is more bearish. Uh, so move above the 200 hour moving average is more bullish. So there you have it. A uh, look at uh, three of the major cur currency pairs to kickstart your Friday trading and get a view of uh, you know what we did this week and what we can look forward perhaps next week. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.